what is up, Zero Gang? Get out of here. My name is Castle Zero Vlogs, and today we are going to be uh, pretty much a continuation and more evidence on the Yukinsa chick, or AKA the black chick, on that this whole thing is fraud and she did this for clout. I have more evidence showing that she's actually a bully and I also have evidence that I did some uh, digging around, so to speak, uh, on her simply doing this for clout, man. She's doing this for clout. She knows she's doing this for clout. That's why she's kind of went MIA on her social media. So I have a couple of things listed. I have them, they're not really in order, but uh, yeah, we're just gonna just get right into this. If you guys aren't to the channel, make sure you guys like, subscribe and comment. Help me get my video out there in this jungle that we call YouTube. Without further ado, I'm going to kind of also address some things that I thought were funny in my last video. So I'm gonna address some things first in my last video. I'm going to give you guys evidence that she actually did this for clout and money, and then I'm gonna give you guys more evidence on how she's actually a bully and uh, not a victim. So let's get into the video. So the first thing is that she made a TikTok to specifically uh, promote her video. Now, I know you guys are saying, okay, maybe she already had a TikTok, but no, she actually created a TikTok to help promote the video. Now, you guys can say, oh, it was for awareness. She was doing it for awareness to let people know her bad situation. But um, it's not awareness when you try to implement your own narrative to it. Her Twitter account got banned because she was talking about, uh, you know, the R word. I'm gonna try to get this monetized this time, just let you guys know. So she was talking about the R word, you know, uh, white people this, white people that. Just pretty much throwing white people under the bus and trying to talk about how hard it is being a um, black person. And you know, just trying to do this whole narrative. And so she got banned for it for pretty much hate speech, etc. Because uh, she was trying to put everyone against Abigail and it failed because she got banned. So she was obviously trying to get like a mob on her side to build it up, right? Get more views, get more eyes on her, right? Because more eyes, more views, more money. So she was trying to do that and obviously failed. So that is the first thing. She had, did not care about. TikTok whatsoever until her video went viral. Make sure that's clear also, by the way. She went viral and then she made a TikTok to promote the video to continue her um, viralness or whatever. So that is the problem with that. She did it specifically to increase views and, um, you know, viewership and, and popularity. The second thing is that she created a Twitter account on July 12th of this year, 2021, of course, um, to get to pretty much have people follow her, right? She did not have a Twitter account. Uh, she did have a YouTube account, and I'll get in that in a second, but she did not have a Twitter account, and um, pretty much she wanted people to follow her. Like, hey, you can follow me here, and um, at the time of this recording, you can go on her channel yourself and even see that she made the account to have people follow her. She did it specifically to have people follow her. You, you guys get what I'm saying? You guys kind of see the connection here? She went viral and then started making social medias to get followers that's doing it for clout, that's literally doing it for clout. If you look at all these other people that go viral, you can't find them because they don't care about the clout. And I'm gonna, I have another reason why she did this for clout and I actually have you know, proof pretty much on why she did this for clout because you guys will see in a second, just keep watching. But she made a Twitter account and then kept saying, I can't tell my story on TikTok, blah, blah, blah. Pretty much meaning that I can't promote myself on TikTok and you know, control this narrative to benefit myself because TikTok has banned me. So that's the, that's the second thing. She made a Twitter account to have people follow her. So when you get you know a following group, you have your mob, your hate group, or your supporters, or whatever you want to call it. The point is she did it for clout, and that is the problem because she's not a victim. She did it for clout. Moving on. Before we get into the third thing, I really want to make sure that this is clear, that if she just simply just said, hey, I'm just recording this idiot to make fun of her, by all means do that. I don't care. I, I really don't. If you want to record someone acting like a buffoon, by all means, do it, have fun. Uh, the problem I have with uh, the black chick is that she claimed that she's a victim. Now, if she did this for clout, I was like, hey, laugh at this chick, follow me, by the way, guys. I could care less, but when you try to put this whole R word thing on the whole twist, and you're trying to ruin somebody's life, and also get clout, and you're getting money from it, I'm going to call you out, period has nothing to do with her skin color, I'm going to call you out. Because that's what this channel is about, is calling the hypocrisy of just people in general. That's what this channel is about, so she's just simply next. So if you go way, way back on her YouTube channel, you will actually find out that she was trying to be a YouTuber. What do you fucking do, all right? She was trying to be a YouTuber. 
and she failed and had mostly dislikes than she did actually likes. In fact, she was trying to be a YouTuber so hard that uh, she actually moved and there's a whole video about it. Um, she only did one of the videos, but I was actually able to say one of the videos where she talks about where she came from and how she's trying to be a YouTuber and all this cool stuff, right? She's trying to be a YouTuber. I'm fine with that. I don't care, but I'm still gonna call her out. So she basically had more, like, more dislikes than likes. She was a failing YouTuber because she didn't do her research and she doesn't put them in, in the hard work to become a successful YouTuber. So she was failing. Um, so I think this is just a really good opportunity for her. Do I, do I think that personally she was looking to find someone to record and go viral? No, but I do think that she took advantage of the opportunity of the whole Karen thing to go viral. And that is the problem. She's using this whole thing to build her trash channel. You guys get what I'm saying? In fact, I have more proof that she actually put the hashtag that people are searching for the Karen video in her older videos to get her older videos up there in views. If that's not trying to get clout, I don't know what is, okay? And again, if she was just doing this just because, just, just, if she was being honest about it, I wouldn't care, right? Like people talk about celebrities and channels like mine exist to grow, right? That's what we do, right? I'm fine with that. I don't care how you grow your channel. I don't care. But when you ruin someone's life and you act like it's another thing and you put this whole narrative twist on it and you're really literally putting someone else's life in danger, then that's when it becomes a problem. That's when I care. But if you're just recording idiots or you're making fun of people or whatever your narrative is on your channel, I don't care at all. That's like me telling my audience to specifically hate, uh, you know, black people, for instance, right? Or or me saying, oh, make sure you guys go out and, and, and tear this black bitch a new one, you know? Make sure you guys tear her up, go on her channel, send her some hate mail. I'm not saying that, I don't care. I'm just calling you out on your BS. That's what this channel is about. The next thing I want to address, because I know there's gonna be the same type of stupid comments in this video as it was the last one. Um, the self-hate thing, obviously, I look amazing. I'm very attractive, right? I have a perfect skin complexion. I'm extremely intelligent. I'm doing extremely well for myself. I have very nice cars. Literally, people like me, black people like me, keeps base black people not being a slave, all right? That's that's pretty much what it does. It keeps, it keep, black people like me, keep base black people that comment and say all this self-hate stuff, that keeps you guys from being a slave, just to be honest. It, it really, really does. So thank people like me. Thank the Candace Owens. Thank the Hodge twins. Thank people like me, because we're smart enough to call out BS and make other races not hate us for ignorance. That's what it is, all right? So that you're just doing this uh, for the views, you're just doing this to grow your channel, blah, 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 all right? To some extent, it's true, I do upload to grow my channel because this is my business and this is actually my main source of income. So thank you to all my memberships out there. But am I specifically doing this to say something that I disagree with or that I believe not to be true to grow my channel? Absolutely not. I'm doing this because I truly believe in this and I believe that it actually helps out everyone, really. It doesn't just help out white people, it helps out everyone to actually know the truth. Um, so if I were doing this to grow my channel and just to sell out, so to speak, as you all say, then I would just simply agree with the masses because if I easily just made a bunch of points or made up a bunch of fake points, it doesn't even have to even make sense because you guys will agree with anything that's, that's pro-black. So if I just made a bunch of fake points, right, and said, oh, this and that and that, Karen, this and that and that, disagreeing with the black chick, then you guys would agree with me and i grow my channel that way because you guys are going to mindlessly agree with me just because I'm black. If I was going to sell out, I would just do that. I could have been hit a million subscribers. If I really wanted to do it, I could have been hit a million subscribers, talk about some topics about black people, always be on the black people's side, and act like I'm doing stuff for the community when I'm not because the majority of black supporters don't do anything for the community, and then I can grow my channel that way. I, I thought about all this already. I could have been done this, but that is not me. That isn't me, I couldn't do that. So to the people that are saying that I'm growing my channel um, and trying to be like Candace Owens, stuff like that, I'm you know, doing it to not believe in what I believe in, that's absolutely not true. I'm doing this because I do believe in it. I'm doing this because I do feel that it makes a difference. I'm doing this because I feel that other races that don't understand black culture, I've spoke to a lot of people, I won't name anyone, but I spoke to a lot of people and they just don't get black people or they're afraid of black people because when you do question black people, they either act really violent or they just say something like self-hate or whatever, right? So you people should thank black people like me. Thank your Candace Owens, thank your Hodge twins, thank black people like me, because black people like me keeps you guys out of chains and shackles. Moving on to the evidence of the video. So in this part of the segment, I'm gonna take myself off camera. You guys are just gonna completely watch um, the evidence I have in the next video. Uh, about what happened and kind of breaking it down more to prove that um, Yukenda, aka Black Trick, 
was actually antagonizing and just being the problem in the video. So if you guys are interested, shout out, make sure you subscribe and comment, help me get my video out there in this jungle that we call YouTube. And uh, remember, I'm not arrogant, I'm just confident, and thank you for watching and enjoy the next segment of the video. No, why don't she walk away from me? No, I was here, no, 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 we're not doing this. Why don't I walk away from her? Why don't she get away from me? She could get away. Go wherever you want to go. So I think this segment is a major part on why Yukinta is bullying Abigail. Because if you notice, the people around them are always telling Yukinta to leave her alone, rather than telling Abigail to leave Yukinta alone. It's not because of her race. It's because Yukinta is literally bothering and following Abigail around. But Yukinta is so arrogant and black people are taught to play victimhood so much that she felt that was about her race. So she's like, I'm gonna stand my ground. I'm not doing nothing wrong. Maybe she did know she was doing something wrong, but yeah. Stop threatening me! See, and she's saying I'm threatening her. I'm not saying nothing to her. It's to protect me. Once the law get here, who they gonna believe? Her white ass or my black ass? So at this segment, you can see that uh, Yukinta is spying on Abigail through the uh, mannequins, the clothing areas. Um, you watch the full video, she spies on her like through the cracks like three times to get a laugh. Also when she was on the floor as well. Um, but I felt this is more significant to show you guys this part of her spying or, you know, just peeking at her through the cracks, so to speak. Haha, -ha, so funny. Uh, because Yukinta says, who are the cops gonna believe? her white A or my black A, which shows that Yukinta feels smaller than and less than Abigail, hence why she was spying on her through the cracks to get a reaction out of her. Now, I know I had this segment in my last video when the sound cuts out, but I think this is critical because if you notice, she goes away and comes back up spying on her again over the clothing area, right? And the big lady right there, no offense, tells her to go away. Like, you see her waving her hand, like, go away, leave her alone. Uh, because Yukinta is the problem. I think it's pretty obvious Yukinta is the problem. Yukinta keeps coming around recording her while Abigail is having a mental breakdown, freaking out, etc. And then you guys will see in the next part that Yukinta mocks Abigail and makes fun of her because, you know, Yukinta sees her as a joke because, you know, she's not in danger. So I think this part is really critical as well because listen to the tone of her voice in this segment. If you'll notice in her voice, she sounds like really excited and really humored. Uh, people said this part she's in shock and she's not in shock whatsoever But she's really excited because she knows this is a really good upload is gonna go viral etc Because Abigail's you know having a meltdown so listen to her voice She sounds like a, those kids in you know high school and say look at his shoes bro. My god look at his shoes So in this segment, I think this is actually really slick on Yukinta's part because, you know, she got her recorded just laying down on the ground and, uh, you know, coming at her and, you know, supposedly chasing her and all that stuff, right? And then she antagonizes Abigail, knowing that, uh, you know, she has what makes it look like more evidence against Abigail to make it seem like, you know, Yukinta's the victim. And she says this, letting Abigail hear it. And Abigail loses it. She does this on purpose, making fun of her. And then Abigail chases her again, right? Because she knows that Abigail's going to lose it from how it looks from the outside. And you can clearly hear Yukinta, you know, antagonizing Abigail, mocking her, making fun of how she sounds, stuff like that to get her routed up again. You here to get the cops here. This is how black people be dying. You see this? See what these people do? They call in the panic and tell police that you're doing something to them when you clearly saw her chase me around the store. She tell them, get here, I'm hoping my heart's racing. Look. Oh, see, 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 did you see that? So at that point, you can clearly hear Yukenta antagonizing Abigail and she wanted a specific reaction out of her and unfortunately enough Abigail gave her that exact reaction of you know kind of running up to her and being angry um sure I agree Abigail's acting kind of like a child but she also has a disability um and Yukinta took advantage of this 
to obviously, uh, you know, get that reaction for that upload for those views. You guys get what I'm saying? That's why at the very end, she's like, did you guys see that? Because she's so excited. She's like, this is perfect for upload. And to be quite honest, it is perfect for, uh, for upload and it is viral material. That is exactly why she was so excited about this. <laughs> over to them asked them to call security went off she dropped on the floor she screamed she chased me as a matter of fact where is she uh, well i don't know exactly right now who you're referring to um here we go here we go see at this point she's already trying to further uh her narrative by acting like oh the police will help me because i'm black see here we go guys i have all this evidence and the cop is acting this way because I'm black. That's what this whole thing is about. Is everything okay? Is like... I, um, no, I feel in danger. No, everything's not okay. Ask them. She chased me. At, excuse me, ma'am. You're the manager, right? Could you come over here and tell him what this lady did? She chased me around the store. I was attacked. So I feel this is a very, very, very crucial part in the uh, evidence that proves that uh, Yukinda, or Yukinda, whatever her name is, uh, is, you know, the antagonizer, the bully here, because if you notice, right, the cops like, uh, you know, kind of like acting like, okay, so what we've been hearing, you're kind of the problem, right? Even when she asks, Are, aren't you the manager? Blah, 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 blah. The manager want nothing to do with her because Yukenta is obviously being the problem, the antagonizer, the person who's making, you know, a commotion in the store. And if you notice also, it jump cuts. She cut that part out. You guys noticed that? When she, the uh, manager explains what happens, it's cut out. Why is it cut out? Attacked in the mall, almost attacked in the mall. The manager, I had to run behind her. I chased him around. He telling me he can escort me to my car, but she's not. She doesn't have to leave the mall. I'm not finished shopping. I have two other stores to go to. So the problem in this segment, uh, she says that they say they can escort her to her car. And if you really think about it, if she's so afraid and she's the victim and she's being attacked and she's being assaulted and all this other stuff. Why would you still want to be in the same area? Why would you still want to say, I got to get my shopping done? If someone had a gun to my head, right, or someone was trying to physically harm me, etc., why would my focus be, I still got to shop? I will obviously, you know, if I couldn't handle myself, which I can, but if I couldn't handle myself, I would want to be escorted. I want all these people to help me because, you know, I'm a victim. I'm helpless. But that isn't the case with her, if you notice. I'm not saying that, but if it was on, if the shoe was on the other foot, and I would have tried to attack her white ass, you would have me escorted out this mall. Man, that's just how I feel. This woman, the, the, mind you, the manager wish, didn't told him. The manager told me he chased, huh? I wish she didn't feel that way. I do it's feel that way. Point. I do feel that I'm way. I was just almost attacked and assaulted, you and you telling me three times, and he can't, he can't get out. You hear this? Do you like um, if you have So in that last segment, take notice to how she brings race into it so she can play the I'm the helpless black person card. I'm being treated this way because I'm black. The officer won't do what I ask. And the only reason it's happening this way because I'm black. You guys notice that's what she's trying to play off on. You know, to get people on her side, the whole victimhood card. You, you guys know what they do. So if you guys notice in the next part that's going to come up, she's going to actually say, where is she at? Or something like that. I'm going to go find her so she can get a reaction to further you know, put the icing on the cake to her case. Well, I'm going to, mm, this lady, this the lady, they won't kick out the mall. I'm a dog. I want to see if she act up in front of y'all, what y'all would do. So he's telling me that, um, first of all, the manager already said she tried to attack me. I want her to be, to leave the mall. I don't understand why she can't be escorted out the mall. She tried to attack me twice. She should be escorted out the mall. Okay. So I want you guys to really take notice to her uh, entitlement, her black privilege. Uh, she's like, she should be escorted out the mall. Like, she's demanding it. You guys see? She's demanding it because she knows for a fact that it's a win-win if they escort out the mall, right? Victory for the blacks, right? And if they don't, then see, this is what I'm talking about. This is what black people got to deal with. Like, she's actually pretty smart. See this? And she's crying and they just being all sympathetic to her tears. I don't care about her white tears. So I want you guys to take notice to the hate, uh, you know, 
you can to have towards uh, Abigail's race. The fact that she's white really angers Yukenta. You know, like if anyone's prejudice is Yukenta, it's like pretty obvious. No, she should be escorted out the mall. She tried to attack me twice. You doing that because she white and she crying. I am nowhere near her. I don't just. I don't have to move. I'm not breaking any laws. Now you get so aggressive with me. Get aggressive like that with her. Now Yukenta is right. She is not breaking any laws. Shaggy as. She's <laughs> I can't even stand up with a straight face. She literally said Rawls, but in all seriousness, she's not breaking any Rawls. <laughs> okay, let me stop. Seriously, she's not breaking any laws, but it is pretty obvious to the cops that she's antagonizing uh, Abigail, and they caught on to the BS, and, you know, they're acting accordingly. And, of course, Yukenta's bringing race into it because that's the only weapon she has now, because the cops caught on to her BS. And she's like, well, there's no one because she's white. And Yukenta is extremely prejudiced. And can I have the, ca the email yes. and the case number, please, for yeah, today? Because I'm definitely going to go straight. Just because of your partner's smugness. Yeah. yeah, the way your partner looked back at me like, oh. Like, I don't have time for that. Come on now, guys. Can you hear the low self-esteem in Yukenta's voice? She is going to do as much she can to make this a big issue because of quote a cop's smugness are you really that insecure that the way a cop looked at you made you feel some type of way <laughs> come on now so in this next segment you can't try to explain about you know if it was the other way around things would have been differently and the cop catches on to this and you know calls around her bs just take a look around the store they didn't ask her to leave or anything they said they weren't able to. They weren't able to ask her to leave the mall. I've never heard of such a thing. Because if I was chasing her around the store, I'm sure I would have been asked to leave the mall and or arrested. Well, and I leave? showed him the video. Why did you leave that? What you mean why I believe that? Because... Why did you leave okay. I'm, I, I don't really don't want to play this game. See, the cop obviously knew this was about a whole... Uh, you know race poo me thing. He was just like so why do you believe it and she obviously can't articulate why she believes it Because she knows what she's doing and she knows she's trying to get that money Today, you know this happened to me Saturday. I'm very emotional about it. Okay. I'm asking you I want to file a complaint against your two officers. You said I can do that with you, right? Because I, I don't that's what I'm going to give you an internal affairs complaint form. I'm going to fill it out. I'm going to pass it on to the internal affairs unit no, they'll be doing their investigation, okay? I see, I'm gonna need a lawyer. Anybody that can help me with a good lawyer reference or point me in the direct, right direction, please. Now you see, I think this is the part where she messed up. She didn't want an investigation to go on. She just wanted to see you know, her internet clicks, her fame, her GoFundMe. All this stuff, right? The, what she was trying to do. Now she got an investigation going on, which I really don't believe that she wanted. That's why she's kind of going MIA. She's kind of disappeared. If you notice, she was posting a lot. She was, you know, all the social medias, tell my story. And now she has a full investigation going on. Because at first it wasn't going to be an investigation. It was going to, you know, whatever, right? Cat fight happens, right? But now, since she's took it to this degree and she's made it go viral and all this stuff, now it's a full on investigation. And uh, that's also why, you know, TMC, TMZ so-called threw her under the bus because they caught her on her BS as well. But that last bit is just an assumption. I don't really have too much, you know, fact to back it up other than, you know, that's the only part I don't have any fact to back it up. But I wanna know what you guys think in the comments below. Do you agree with me? Do you have your own ideals? Do you guys have proof as well? And before I wrap this video up, if you guys want to know a little bit more about Abigail, there is a guy on Twitter and he does some digging. Very, very thorough. So please check that out. I will leave the link in the description below. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video.